Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes the Surplus Exchange Sporting Soccer Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine Show. Good Sports is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Dr. Lynn McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. For an appointment, call them at 816-753-4600 or visit kansascitychiropractic.com. And by the Surplus Exchange. Take a tax donation credit plus help KC students when you recycle your electronics and office furniture at the Surplus Exchange. For more information, visit surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444. Good Sports was recorded on Thursday, June 19th. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. I'm Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Today we're here at the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can skate on their outdoor pavilion, which is an inline rink, or their indoor ice rink, which reopens after annual maintenance on July 7th. Call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicecenter.com, for more details on public skate sessions, their leagues, and learn to skate and learn to play hockey programs. And hang on because we'll be talking with General Manager Dean Nelson in just a couple minutes about all of that. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And with this month's issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 17th straight year covering sports in KC. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports, we discuss how the Royals bats have finally woken up, and we follow the travels of Mike Moustakas to the minors and back and how that's helped his game. In our hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we write about their upcoming camps and clinics, which kick off in July. And in our Sporting Kansas City report presented by the Surplus Exchange, we interview Sporting's Matt Beesler, who made the U.S. men's national team. And this month, KC Sports welcomes the American Indian Center of the Great Plains as our sponsor of the Chiefs Report. This month, we write about the recent draft picks and the Chiefs picks, including first round pick D. Ford. Now, you can visit our website, kcsportspaper.com, to find a link to a list of locations where you can find Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website as well. And now joining us is Dean Nelson, who is the general manager at the Kansas City Ice Center and Outdoor Pavilion. And since he's come here from his home state of Minnesota, the growth of uh, skating and hockey has been tremendous, in part because of the programs he's put in place to get more Kansas City kids involved in skating sports. He joins us as our guest on Good Sports. Welcome, Dean. Thank you so much for coming hey. for, for hosting us today. S sounds great. Thanks for having me, Steve. So it's a little quiet here today. Yeah. Uh, you know, normally we, we tape on a Saturday. Today is a Thursday, but it's a little quiet here today. What's going on at the rink? Yeah, you know, uh, we, what we do is we close the doors every summer for about two weeks or two and a half weeks to do some general you know, maintenance that we need to catch up on at the rink. So even though that the doors are closed, to the general public from our uh, public skates and our all of our programs we're uh, just as busy inside these doors work, <laughs> working on uh, getting ready for the next uh, hockey season and getting ready for our camps and clinics most definitely and and you know some obviously summer is here uh, by the time this show airs it'll be a little bit past summer it's the 19th right now as we're taping this show pro hockey has has kind of come to an end for a couple of months uh, but that, uh, as you said, that doesn't stop things. When are you planning on having things back up? What kind of maintenance are you doing at this sure. time? Sure, uh, we're just doing a couple things. We'll repaint the rink, re restripe the rink, uh, you know, and things like that. General maintenance on the rink. We'll just do some general painting and some things that uh, need upkeep around the rink, um, and then we'll reopen on July seventh. We we have uh, five straight weeks of camps and clinics for hockey. Uh, the figure skating programs will continue on July seventh, and they'll go through the beginning of August, and and. Uh, how quickly we'll be back into the <laughs> hockey season. I just, just went over tryouts for all of our travel teams that began August 14th. So when this airs at the beginning of July, we're really only about five or six weeks away from the beginning of hockey season again, uh, which is awesome. I mean, we, we just seem to keep rolling here at the Kansas City Ice Center from one program to the next. Yeah, kids can't get enough of it. And once you get off your skates for a little while, you want to get back to it. But let's, let's step back for a second. Uh, this spring you took it, 
took a different approach to spring hockey on, uh, on the ice. Uh, tell us how that went, what it is that you did, and how that went. Yeah, it went great, Steve. We, we did a four-on-four program, which was wide open hockey, uh, no icing. They did call offsides to mm-hmm. kind of uh, regulate the game and teach the game to some of the young kids. So if you're coming from, like, U8 to squirts, it was a very good program for you to learn offsides and learn some of the other rules that you're coming into a uh, full ice game versus a half ice game. So the uh, attendance for that was double what we usually have. We have 125 usually for spring hockey, the normal five on five. And we went with about 250 kids for the four on four. And, and what a, just a great deal it was for all the kids to be able to develop their skills, get out and have some fun. It was, it was really a time for the, the kids to just get out and, and, and quit being coached. And the coaches have a little bit of time off of not you know having to go X's and O's right. and, co- and teach the game. So it was just a great program, and I've seen that overflow into our camps and clinics. Kids that um, you know maybe didn't get as much ice time as before weren't entering my camps or clinics, mm-hmm. and now all of a sudden I see a lot of these kids who were in the four-on-four program that their level of uh, – competition and their level of skill went up where they think hey now i'm ready to get back into some camps and clinics and and uh we're, we're almost full for all those this, this uh summer that's that's terrific we're going to talk about those in our probably our second segment here uh on the show and besides what was going on on the ice side you've got uh the roller side the inline side that is ice during the winter time but what was going on over there and what is going on over yeah, there? yeah that's a that's a good uh steve we had uh rick Hawkins and Kim Kobe, sure. uh, they're two of the uh, uh, parents that took over kind of the program. Rick was involved with it last year, and right. Kim kind of came as administrator to help with it this year. And we had a full inline league that just got over at the beginning of June. And then uh, they made all their State Wars teams for the summer, so they were practicing down here Tuesday night. They have three different age groups. They're going to State Wars, they call it, which is a national tournament that Kansas sends a different age group of inline hockey. So it's pretty cool. You know, uh, Rick works real hard at it, and Kim worked real hard to have their very successful uh, spring-summer season. And uh, they'll be looking at picking that back up when we reopen here with the fall session. And you've got, so out on the inline side, you've got uh, public roller skating that's going while you're doing the repairs over here. Tell us about that if somebody wants to come on out and just enjoy the rink. You've got all sorts of, you know, I was looking back, right behind me is is the skate center. You've got the platform skates with four wheels. You've got the inline skates and all that stuff. So anybody can come out and enjoy themselves. Yeah, they can. You know, if you go onto our website at kcicecenter.com, And you look under the public skating, it will tell you when the inline skating and the indoor skating is available. So Mm -hmm. most of the times when we're having a public skate inside on our ice rink, there's also a public skate going on outside on our uh, outdoor pavilion. So a lot of people wear the roller blades, which we have here for rent. It's the same price, $7 for uh, open skating and $3 for rental. So they come on in and maybe they want to go an hour on the indoor rink. And then they want to go an hour outdoor. And it's, it's, uh, it's really neat because you're outdoors, a little bit of heat. But yeah. not too bad, and then, uh, you, you know, you're working out out there with your roller skating. And it is a, sl- a slightly different uh, experience, even on the inline skates. But, yeah, it's a lot of fun to be able to experience both of those things. So so coming up, starting on the 7th of July, you'll be starting back in with your Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey programs. Let's discuss, you know, since this is going to run a little bit before and, and overlap a little bit with the, the sure. start back up, let's discuss for a couple of minutes what is involved in Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey. What do the kids experience? What are the levels that they have? to go through sure and it also you know the most important thing is it gets them ready that if learn to play hockey gets them ready for the fall yeah to jump to jump into the leagues but what what kind of steps and things do they go through? for sure i'll uh, touch on learn to play hockey first because that's that's uh you know kind of where i have uh started this program that was called learn to play hockey a couple years ago and what it is is for kids ages three to ten who have no experience a little experience and want to get into the game of hockey so it's every saturday morning at eight o'clock and our next session starts july 12th and it's an eight-week session. I believe the only week we have off is probably Labor Day in there. But it's eight consecutive weeks. Gets the kids ready for the next level of hockey, which is either the U8 or squirts or however old they are. So we take kids in with zero experience and uh, all the way up to 10 or 11 years old with a little bit of experience. And we teach them the game of hockey. So we teach them everything from how to hold your stick, how to stride, how to skate backwards, forwards, stops, handling the puck. Um, we don't get into team concepts because we you know, don't have the full ice yet. We wait for them to get onto their teams, but it's a great, mm-hmm. great program for, for your little guy or little, little girl who wants to start playing hockey. And you do have a lot of little girls that play. How many kids 
Has it grown over the, you, you instituted, you started this program a few years ago. How has the growth been for that? It's been great. I was actually reading an article on USA uh, Hockey the other day about how mm -hmm. Minnesota, they give awards to uh, different organizations who have like a three-step process. It's called a two-and-two. Two. But what it is is it's for bringing new kids in, giving them a place to go and try it, and then giving them a, a, another program, which is like learn to play hockey, to experience it. So we do all that here. We do try hockey for free a couple times a year, mm -hmm. which is what they're talking about is introducing new kids to it. Mm -hmm. And then we take them through the learn to play hockey, which was about 12 kids when I got here. We're up to about <laughs> 70 now. We yeah. run 60 to 70. We wanted to stop at 60, but it seems like we just keep getting more and more. So the session is somewhere around 60 to 70 kids usually. And then the transition period is what they what they call it is then transitioning into the U8 or into the squirts. So we really have a great program here. Anytime you see a try hockey for free, learn to play hockey, uh, we get them into the program and teach them the game. So we've only got about 30 seconds or so. One of the things that we do want to mention is um, the Learn to Skate program. Yeah. Uh, but give us the information on where people can go to find out information on Learn to Skate, Learn to Play Hockey, public sessions, all that kind of stuff. Sure, your Learn to Skate will start up again on like the July 12th on Saturday. Right. Go to our website at kceicecenter.com. And you can go under the Learn to Skate tab or the Learn to Play Hockey tab. Uh, Kay does a great job with our Learn to Skate program. Just awesome. We have probably 200 kids in that at different times. So go on to our website, check out when those will be, and uh, go ahead and get your kid enrolled in some ice skating. It's truly the coolest game on, uh, <laughs> on ice. <laughs> it, is a it is a blast. And, and yeah, it just, just to come out to a public session during the summertime is, is terrific. Uh, when we come back, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about some of those hockey camps that you have coming up and some special guests that you're going to be bringing in again this year to participate in those camps. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, Casey Sports and Fitness Magazine show. We're coming to you today from the Kansas City Ice Center located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Will the Royals' bats finally catch fire? Was Ford the right choice for the Chiefs? Read these stories, our golf spotlight, and more in this month's KC Sports Magazine. Plus, check out the Surplus Exchange Sporting Soccer Report, the Cargo Largo Health and Fitness Report, the KC Ice Center Hockey Report, the International Hotel's Youth Soccer Report, and KC Sports welcomes the American Indian Center of the Great Plains as our sponsor of the Chiefs Report. KC Sports is available all across KC and is always free, so pick one up today. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, like Kansas City Chiropractic on Facebook and save 50% on a 30-minute massage. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Beat the heat at the Kansas City Ice Center. Come out to a public skating session on the outdoor inline pavilion or on their indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes, leagues for ice and inline hockey, and upcoming hockey camps at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times or to register for a camp or a class, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. The Army Reserve has more than 120 unique career opportunities so you can add to your current strengths or build brand new ones. Join the Army Reserve and you'll make a difference in your life and the lives of others. Learn more at GoArmy.com slash reserve. For more information, contact the Greater Kansas City Company at 3720 Arrowhead Drive, Suite B, telephone number 816-531-3818. There's Strong, and then there's Army Strong, paid for by the U.S. Army. Experience a touch of the Ozarks when you tee off at Winterstone Golf Course in Independence. Visit winterstonegolf.com for daily specials and call 816-257-5755 for lessons or information on tournament hosting. 
Are you traveling this summer? Book your hotel early with Intercontinental Hotels and Resorts and save up to 20%. Intercontinental Hotels and Resorts is the world's first truly global hotel brand located in more than 60 countries with local insights from over 60 years of experience. To book your next reservation and save up to 20%, call 855-382-1468. That's 855-382-1468. Call today. Kansas City Sports and Fitness welcomes the American Indian Center of the Great Plains as our new sponsor of the Chiefs Report. The American Indian Center of the Great Plains is located inside the Loretto at 1111 West 39th Street in Kansas City, Missouri. For more information on the American Indian Center of the Great Plains or to book the Loretto for an event, call 816-888-4877. That's 816-888-4877. Welcome back to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. I am Steve Fish. Today we're here at the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can skate on their outdoor pavilion, which is now an inline rink, or their indoor ice rink, which reopens after annual maintenance on July 7th. Call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicenter.com, for more details on public skate sessions, their leagues, and learn to skate and learn to play hockey programs. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out our U.S. Army high school top performers. And in our health and fitness report presented by Cargo Largo, we tell you things you can do to avoid jet lag as you travel this summer. And in our youth soccer report presented by Intercontinental Hotels and Resorts, we report on the quality coaching and the success it's created for the Metro United Soccer Club. Now you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including Eagles Landing Golf Course, both Minsky's on Berry Road, and right here at the Kansas City Ice Center. Now, coming up, we'll be at the home of Foot Golf in KC, the Heart of America Golf Academy, on Friday, June 27th. And the Heart of America is located at 7501 Blue River Road in Kansas City, Missouri. And in July, we'll be back here at the Kansas City Ice Center. And, of course, the KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. And now you can view Good Sports on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, once again, we're joined by Dean Nelson, the general manager here at the Kansas City Ice Center. Once again, thanks for hosting us today, Dean. Hey, uh, we no appreciate problem. it very much. No problem, Steve. Thanks for having me. You bet. So let's talk about the big camps that are coming up. You've got some camps that are starting in July th that are for hockey players. Yep. Um, Tell us uh, about some of those camps and things like that. Yeah, we're running two, uh, we're run actually five straight weeks of clinics and camps. So it's going to be great for all the hockey kids around here. So we're going to do from July 7th to the 10th, uh, we do power skating. And then we come back with the shooting clinic from uh, July 14th through the 17th with uh, all your uh, shooting techniques and all your scoring touches. And then we go ahead and do the uh, power skating again, which is July 21st through the 24th. And then we come back with a U8 and new player development camp that I have this year, which is kind of new. So we're going to take the younger kids, give them a full uh, week of clinic, and that's uh, the 28th through the 31st of July. And then we end it with our third annual battle camp, which is uh, August 4th through the 8th, which is a full day camp. So let's talk about who's going to be hosting, uh, who's going to be involved in that battle camp. Sure. You've had a very special guest here for the last several years. We've been able to come out and talk with both of you yeah. while the battle camp's going on. Fill us in. Yeah, it's been great. The battle camp always features uh, my, my real good friend, Sean Podine, who won a Stanley Cup with the Colorado Avalanche. He comes down and works with all the kids. And I tell you, what, more talking to Sean, this is one of his highlights of his year almost now, is to come down <laughs> to Kansas City and, and work with the kids because the kids down here are, are so eager for hockey. They really are. It's, it's a sport that you know not all their buddies at school do, so it isn't as prevalent as it is in Minnesota. So it really, really means a lot to Sean to come down here and help bring his knowledge and his fun and his attitude to the, to the kids of Kansas City. So that battle camp is, is truly uh, an awesome deal for the kids. And we're sold out already for for um, the younger age group, which is the Squirts and Peewees. We have 40 kids already signed up, wow. which is awesome. We're at capacity, and then we have about 30 to 32 uh, Bantam and high school kids already, so I expect to fill that out as well by the time this airs. So uh, people can contact you directly to get it, get to uh, get signed up for these camps. Uh, where do they go to, to contact you? Yeah, we have all the rest of our clinics still are accepting spots pretty much, and that's at the, our website at kcicecenter.com, and, uh, or else you can call down here to the rink at 913 Four four one three zero three three. If you'd like to reserve a spot, but pretty much all the uh, clinics and camps are done through uh, emails to myself. It's right. d nelson at kciicecenter dot com. If you want to email me directly, that's fine, and uh, you can ask for your spot in the camp or clinic. 
And we should mention that uh, Sean Podine played not only for the Colorado Avalanche, uh, he also played for the St. Louis Blues. So if you're a Blues fan, you, yeah. you know, he ended his career there. He played for the Flyers before he went to the Avs. Yep. And he played for the Oilers, and I don't know where that quite fits in. Did he start with the Oilers? Yeah, he started with the Oilers, and then uh, from there went on to Philadelphia and then came to Colorado and then went to St. Louis at the end of his career. So uh, Sean had a great, I want to say it was 13 years in the yeah. NHL maybe. And, uh, you know, it, it – Really, to Sean, you know, you've had him on the show a couple of times, yeah. and the more you talk to him, uh, you know, that was a part of his life that he did for a job, and, and he loved it. But really, really, his part of giving back to hockey has started a few years ago when he started working with a lot of kids. So does it in Minnesota, and, he, and we're very, very fortunate to have him come down here for a full week, I believe, this year and work with our kids. He has a foundation. I can't remember what it's yeah. called. It was uh, something 25. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. It, but, uh, but, yeah, people can look up, look him up and find out about that foundation, and I know we'll, we'll, when we come back out, I'm sure, and yeah. talk with him, we'll find out more about that. But it helps kids in a variety of different ways. Yeah, Team ways. 25 is Team uh, his, his uh, foundation, and it, it starts started out and he helps kids with ataxia which is a which is a disease you know runs through young kids of cancer kind of i think or mm -hmm. you know i don't know a ton on it but i donate and and uh support anything that sean does <laughs> and and really giving back to those kids is a, is a major major gratification of of my life and what i've done with those kids as well and, and same with sean so uh it, it'll be a lot of fun that week uh, but we also um you know spend some time together as friends as well which is great sure and are the twins in town that week, I know the last couple the last of years, I think you've had the have twins. Been, we went out to the them. They are not. Town. They're in town the week before. Oh, uh, the okay. twins are in town, and, <laughs> and with the Royals as hot as they are right now, you know, I mean, I, I think I might trade in my Twins hat for a Royals hat here pretty soon, just because they're fun to watch. So yeah, they're not in town that week. They're actually out of town. The Royals are okay. somewhere, so we won't get to go to a game. Okay. But uh, we'll definitely have a, a few um, cold beverages and a, and a, and a couple <laughs> meals together. He's bringing his son Junior this year, which will be neat. Maybe we'll have him on the show when he's here. For sure, for sure. So the connection that you guys have together you just said you you're a good friend but you guys actually played hockey at the at the, the small guy level yeah you know we grew up playing hockey together and sean was a year older than me and, and uh but we were always on a lot of the same teams and uh, and we also played together all the way up until we got to high school so you know it was uh, just great friendship we had and you know when you're in minnesota playing hockey it's all about riding the rink t together it's all about meeting at the local ponds uh, you know, throwing your skates over your shoulder and heading down to Cook Park or wherever we used to go or, or uh, you know, Hoover School or whatever. So there was different parks that we used to go to to skate almost daily uh, yeah, after school. So me and Sean were, were great friends and, and still are to this day. Let's talk about um, not only can you get all of this information that we've talked about on your great website, which is KCICenter.com. You can find all of this stuff. Uh, you've also got an app. Uh, how's yeah. it going with the app it's and, and what information is on the app that people can find yeah, out the, and how can people find sure, it? Sure. The app's awesome. It's just KCIC as you're uh, going into your app store mm -hmm. and, and type in KCIC and uh, you get our app on there and it's just awesome. We've, we've got um, uh, special deals on there and we have all of our information on all the stuff we talk about is linked right to our website. So if you go on there, there'll be three choices of uh, general information, hockey news and figure skating. Uh, or public skating, I think it is. Right. And you just click on that, and it gives you all the times and dates and what we're doing here at the rink. And the app has been awesome for us. People come up to the counter, and they say, you know, hey, what's your specials? Oh, a $4 skate sharpen. You know, we have things on there like that to help save you some money, or we might have a concession special or a public skate special. So you can go on there for all of our information, whether it be our app, our website, or call us down here at the rink, 913 Four four one three zero three three, and and uh, we'll help you out with all your uh, ice skating needs. The information technology and the information just flows out of here. I don't know who handles your website and all yeah. that, but the communication that you have between sure. you and that person, uh, you've got everything available. People can, uh, you know, find out more about. Uh, there's, these are PDFs that I printed out the other day. Yeah. One of the other things that people can find out as well, if you check out the current issue of Casey Sports and Fitness, we've got information on the camps right here as well, going into details about what's going to be happening on ice and off ice and all those types of things. Yeah, it's real things. neat. We have uh, uh, Doug Dorley as, as a guy that his son plays down here, and he's going mm -hmm. to head all of our off ice conditioning as well. Oh, really? So Doug, um, you know, NFL uh, football player, and, okay. and so what he'll be doing is he'll be heading on heading up all of our outdoor activities for the kids. So not only will they get the great, I believe, uh, on-ice training, now we're really stepping it up with our off-ice training as well, and these kids are going to get some top-quality, high-level off-ice training, which might not be the happiest day for some of the kids. <laughs> but I tell you what, he's going to really put them through a good workout out there, and it'll be all strength and conditioning, and, and we'll have some fun too. So uh, we're real pleased to have Doug come on and help for us. Sure, and foot speed and things like yeah. that, all those important things that help you become a, a better, better hockey player. So, so – 
obviously hockey is is a key ingredient here, but people can can we've only got about a minute or so, but sure. people can have they can come out to public sessions, they can schedule parties here, they yeah. can they can rent the place over you know I think overnight right <laughs> we've done it before yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know t tell us about some of the party packs and things like that that are available sure. to people. We, we do a ton of like uh, birthday parties here. We have a birthday party room where we set up a couple parties mm -hmm. at a time, and they they actually are um, around public skate. So you just give us a call or check out our website under birthday parties. Uh, it, really, our website is just a great, great tool to just browse and look at all the different programs that we have, whether it be learn to skate, public skating is on there, uh, whether it be stick and puck times or birthday parties, you know, um, or adult league. I mean, we have so mm -hmm. much going on down here at the rink that in our in our spots here on the TV show and stuff, you really just need to go to our website and check it out because uh, if you have a, a young daughter or a young son and, and they like ice skating and they want to have a birthday party, we have packages here for them to be able to enjoy that time right here with us at KCIC. So, again, uh, to reach you, obviously, it's the website, kcicenter.com, 913-441-3033. Yep. The app, yep. uh, we talked about the website. What did I miss? Did I miss it? The Facebook page? That's, yeah, we have Facebook page on there at KCIC. I mean, we have, I mean basically, we, we're out there, and if you need information, the best way to do it is just go online or pick up the phone and give us a call, and usually somebody's here. Even when we're shut down for maintenance, <laughs> you know, you'll find me still here working on camps and clinics or, or working on the place. So we're here at all the time for the, to assist your needs. That's true. You took about four or five phone calls while I was just <laughs> doing my setup, and you'd run <laughs> off before we'd start taping and, and grab the phone and, and yeah so it's great you can talk to Kay you can talk to Dean great staff here uh, great information Dean thanks for hosting us today that'll do it for the show again thanks for hosting the show thanks, uh, here at the Kansas City Ice Center Dean Nelson the general manager is who we were talking to today be sure to join me Steve Fish again at the same time for good sports next week uh, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show and check out some of our other shows on YouTube search for the good sports KC channel so until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise. In Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine, you will find it all over Kansas City, and it's free, so pick it up today. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or your driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. You have pain in your feet, your ankles or knees, hips or back, shoulders or neck? Be pain-free with custom-made and 100% guaranteed orthotics from Dr. Don Sharnowski, the only performance and gait specialist in OP. Call Dr. Don today at 806-346-6330. Discover, shop, and win at Cargo Largo. Stop by at 35th and Nolan Road in Independence and go online at CargoLargo.com. Cargo Largo, a retail store, and so much more. Sign up now for the Get Golfing Kids Camp for ages 6 through 11 or the Junior Golf Summer Camp for ages 12 through 18 at the Heart of America Golf Academy. For more information, call 816-513-8940 or visit HOAGolfAcademy.com. Maximize your performance on and off the golf course through the Golf Matrix program, which is available at the Core Strategies Physical Therapy and Movement Center in Overland Park. The team at Core specializes in rehab and performance training for all ages and activity levels. To learn more about Core's sports-specific programs, including the Golf Matrix, visit coreptkc.com or call 913-322-4000. That's 913-322-4000. The 2014 American Indian Athletic Hall of Fame Award Ceremony is coming to KC this July at the Loretto, 1111 West 39th. For more details on the event, visit AmericanIndianAthleticHallOfFame.com. The award ceremony is presented by the American Indian Center of the Great Plains. Sign up now for fun at Volleyball Beach. It's the perfect way to stay in shape and enjoy the outdoors. With leagues every Sunday through Friday evening, Volleyball Beach has been Casey's number one sand volleyball spot for over 25 years. Fall leagues begin August 17th, so sign up now. Call 816-942-2820 or visit volleyballbeach.com. 
two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrew's Golf Club at Neiman and 135th, and Sykes Lady Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Covera. These two courses are among the most popular in KC and offer leagues, junior golf, lessons, and more. For tee times and more information, call St. Andrew's at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. Hi, it's the ball game co-host Greg Pryor. One of my favorite products in Life Priority is called Lift. Lift also comes in capsules called Lift Caps. See Lift and Lift Caps at my website, lifepriority.com. Now you can view our shows and past shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. 